Let's say you want to make $1,000 per month with this website. That's a pretty good ambition, right? And then let's say that you're able to make $15 per thousand page views with ads. And on top of that, you're able to make $10 per thousand page views with affiliate marketing. That equals $25 per thousand page views across the whole site. In that case, you will need exactly 40,000 page views per month in order to make $1,000 with this website. Now let's also say that you're able to get 500 page views on average per article you put on that site. So that's page views per month per article. That means that you will need 80 articles on your site in order to make $1,000 with affiliate and ads on your site. So these numbers are very average and very realistic. Let's say you're able to cram in a few articles like best backpacks for iPad Pros or whatever, something with a strong buying intent and you can get some good affiliate commissions and a good conversion rate going on those articles. Then you'll easily crank those articles up to $100 per thousand page views. And of course the numbers will change then. So it all depends on how good you are on the monetization part of things. And also there are different numbers for each niche. You know, some niches will do better with monetization with ads than others. There's something I dig a lot into on this channel. So watch some of my other videos if you wanna see how to make the most money with ads and affiliate. When we're talking about how many articles to put on a niche site, we're also really talking about how many websites you want. Let's say you have 100 articles and you place those across 10 smaller sites. So you have 10 niche sites with 10 articles on each. They will be 10 small sites, of course, but you could also choose to gather all these articles on one big site. Now, all these articles will benefit from the authority on this site. Let's say these 100 articles are able to attract 15 or 50 organic links over the next couple of years. If all those links were pointing to the same domain where you had all those 100 articles, all these articles would benefit from a strong link profile and more domain authority in Google. But if instead you had 10 different sites, it will maybe be five links to this site, two links to this site, no links to this one and so on. And they wouldn't rank as well because they would not benefit from having all this juice that you would if you had it all on one major site with all these links benefiting all the articles on that site. That was all a little technical, I know, but the main takeaway here is that today it makes more and more sense to build fewer, bigger sites instead of building a lot of small sites with just a little bit of authority in Google. Because we do need that expertise, authoritativeness and trust in Google in order to rank our sites. It's something that's becoming more and more important in Google these days. And it's also so much easier to get your website from $5,000 per month to $10,000 per month than it is to get from zero to let's say $2,000 per month. You know, things start getting easier as soon as you get those links to your site. When Google see that you're an authority on the matter and you have built up your website over a couple of years, it'll just be so much easier for you to rank and go after the more competitive stuff with us, more money to be made. And before we move on to the next tip here, consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you a part of my community here. I put out new videos every week where I teach you how to make money with your website and practical SEO tips and stuff like that. And also if you have any questions, put them in the comments below because I do these Q&A session videos where I answer all the questions you guys have. But let's move on to the next thing here. We should also talk a little bit about spreading your risk by building more than one site. Because if you only have one major site that ranks for everything, I mean, that's awesome. Until Google comes out with an update, like the Medic update that will totally destroy your site. Or right now, as I'm filming this, we're in the middle of the coronavirus, this pandemic thing. And it's just devastating to see how travel bloggers get no traffic right now. I mean, it's so sad to see. So spread your risk out by focusing on different verticals and niches. I have websites across many, many niches. I'm building huge websites in different niches for this reason. And that's also why in the middle of this pandemic here, I'm not getting hit as hard. I'm not really getting affected by it at all because I have websites going up and I have websites going down. And I would say it maybe set me back a month or two, but it's still a very, very good business model in times like this. Let's say your goal is to make three grand per month from these sites then I'd rather see you build three different sites that make one grand each instead of having one really big site because you are more vulnerable to Google updates and stuff like the pandemic and so on. 
Let's also talk a bit about how often you need to press publish on your site in order to stay ranked in Google, because there's a lot of false information online about this. I have created several websites where I just created a bunch of articles in the first month or in the first two months, and then, then I just let it sit there for years and month after month is still getting the same number of page views. So you don't need like a regular posting routine. It's not like on YouTube and on other platforms when you need to constantly pump stuff out there. Unless of course you have a very strong following. Let's say you're a food blogger or something like that and people are looking to your site every week or you have a newsletter you pump out so people are coming back constantly to read your content as it comes out. That's a different story of course, but that's typically not what I'm aiming for with my websites. I am building passive websites that I can just let sit there for years and they will still make me money. I have websites I have built like five or eight years ago that still make me a ton of money every month today and I many times I'm not even logging into them for a year. When I log in, you know, all the plugins needs updating and WordPress is three or four versions old. So that's how it is with these sites. You don't need to post all the time. So don't get caught up in all that information about that online. But when you're just starting out with your website, you do need some momentum to sort of get the website off the ground. If you're only posting one article per month for the first year or two articles per month, I'd say that's just too slow. Crank out at least 10 articles during the first month. And if you can't do that, maybe just write them and then batch them and put them out eventually. Just hit publish when you have a couple of articles. I mean, if you only have a few hours to write per week because you're caught up in family matters or business or work, just batch a few articles and then press publish when you have at least five or 10 articles. And also when we're writing these first 10 or 15 articles, as I always tell you, go for underserved topics. Go for topics where you can actually rank. I have a video up here where I show you exactly how to do keyword research. So you will rank a new website without any backlinks. I show you how to find these golden topics you can write on that will actually rank in Google without any backlinks. And then you'll get the traffic and you'll eventually get the links to your site so you can start ranking for the more competitive stuff. But put up these first 10, 15 or 20 articles and then we wait. Let me show you inside Google Search Console how fast I'm seeing expressions and the first couple of clicks for my latest websites. I'm starting websites all the time and this latest website of mine has around 30 or 40 articles now. So this is a website I started in December and you can see here the first impression showed up around the December 5th and then after a month let's see what's happening this is exactly one month after I started the site now I had 19 expressions only two clicks but 19 expressions at least and after another month it's getting 250 expressions so you can see here after a couple of months you will start to see quite a lot of ex of impressions and of course then it starts to really take off and you will see way more clicks and so on so i'd say this is one of my websites that did pretty well sometimes it's it's a lot slower than that and now it's i think it's six months old from december yeah it's pretty close to a half a year old and it's getting close to 300 or 400 clicks per day so i'm very happy with that sometimes it's way less sometimes it'll be a couple of hundred so obviously i chose a niche here that's not too saturated and i also found some pretty good topics that were really underserved you know articles where i could easily rank with an article because nobody wrote this article before so i'm showing you this just to give you some hope and to give you some sort of an example of how fast you should expect any results with a brand new site and again, this is a site that's doing pretty well. So don't get discouraged. I mean, if you're seeing results coming much slower than this, I see that also many times. And a little word of caution. A couple of years ago, it became very popular to build these one page websites where you just had a really, really long page with all your content. And then maybe a table of content or some navigation at the top that would take you to a specific part of the site where you could read about whatever. Don't build these websites if you want to rank in Google because they are horrible. I mean, there are very, very technical ways you can get around this. So Google will understand or sort of see this long page as several pages, but that's very technical. Just go with a very basic WordPress setup that works awesome and have one URL per topic. 
And again, subscribe to my channel if you like this stuff. I have a lot of stuff coming out for you guys. And give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video.